Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna. I'll show you actually how to replace the screen in a Dell XPS 13. Uh, this is the 9315. Um, so basically, I'll show you what the issue with this computer is. As you see, something uh, the, the, comp the computer screen was closed on top of something which put a crack right in here. Now, for this uh, particular computer, uh, you will be um, you'll have a little bit of trouble um, finding the LCD itself. So uh, you will pretty much have to opt for the whole assembly. This is this is the new assembly. So it comes with the hinges and uh, the back of the of the case. So this is the whole screen assembly, which you'll be able to find. Um, I bought this particular one off Amazon. It was not cheap, uh, but it is uh, you know definitely cheaper than getting a new computer or uh, you know to send it to a shop and they will put their uh, uh, price markup on the on the parts themselves so let's uh, let's get into uh, disassembling this computer so you'll need a t5 screwdriver we'll need to remove the back case of the machine screws removed we should be able to just lift the back case just like this the front let's see. Uh, here we go so this will give you a look inside of the computer now this machine does not have anything upgradable user upgradable everything is soldered onto the main board everything from CPU graphic card um, the, the, the um, Wi-Fi card, the SSD, and the RAM. So basically, all you can do on this one is maybe change a fan, replace the battery, and replace the screen, which is what we're doing today. Uh, in terms of upgrading it, it's not possible because Dell, like uh, Apple, they are opting to actually put everything built on the main board. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so first thing we have to do is disconnect the battery okay from the main board so uh you have this is uh this is your battery right and if you follow the cable you'll see it coming let's see that's the io so this is the battery right here okay so this part will have to be removed so we can work safely on the computer so you will push Okay, you see, you're pushing on this guy, and you can use this little tape to actually help you. I, let me see, you can't really see it. What I'm doing so you can push, uh, I'm sorry, you can pull on the tape and push with, uh, you can even use, maybe you don't have one of those, so you can push with the nail down, and that's that. So we removed the battery, now it's safe to work on the computer. Okay. Uh, sometimes there is uh, still some electricity onto the main board so what we're gonna do we're gonna press the power button a couple of times to discharge uh, any remaining um, uh, power from the main board okay so how is this uh, screen connected to the motherboard so you'll have basically right here it's your uh, LCD connector and then we'll have to remove the hinges you have about four screws per hinge uh, five actually if I'm, yeah you have five screws so first we're going to let me show you okay. we have to remove these two screws okay that is the actual LVDS connector you see they made it nice and easy uh, this piece also comes out but it can only go down one way so make sure it's properly aligned there now 
you'll have this bracket right here which is holding the LVDS connector into place so we have two screws here okay you see it uh, actually release the whole uh, the whole cable and uh, then you have this bracket right here which we have to remove okay so this one is loose as well now i'm gonna remove this because this is going to fall make sure you put it down the same orientation as it was so we're gonna put it like that okay and the reason I'm doing that is because when I'm going to remove, when I'm going to turn the computer the other way, this will just fall off. So now uh, we're going to remove the screws for the hinges. All except one, and I'm going to show you why. So we're gonna leave that screw in and we're gonna do the same thing onto the left hinge also uh, it's worth mentioning that if you don't know what color your computer came originally uh, make sure you look on your uh, order bill because uh, as you see the screen comes the back of the LCD it comes in different colors so this particular one is called I believe sky um, so the, the color is sky I believe so I might be wrong um, but you know you might want to check uh, you might want to check with your uh, on your on your invoice uh, to see what color your computer originally had okay because you don't want to have a mix um, uh, mismatch screen now the reason we kept these two screws is because we'll have to flip we'll have to open it up 90 percent just like this now i'm gonna put it on the side of my working bench okay there we go and now we're gonna flip the screen just like that for easy removal of the LCD. So now we can remove the last, the last two screws. And we would lift the LCD, just lift it up, just like this, okay? So we have the old LCD out and now we're gonna put the new LCD in we're gonna open the hinges up okay and you're gonna want to keep it on the side of the table just like this because it's much easier to put in the screen so it will give you the the right position so we're just gonna align the, okay let me move my chair so you have to align the hinges make sure they go all the way in okay and once they're all the way in we're gonna take one screw put it here and one screw on the other side and don't over tie it just make sure it's properly tight tighten now we can close the LCD and we're gonna come back to the to this position and before you put everything let's just put this little fella back in here okay and actually i made a mistake i have made a mistake and that's what happens when you do a live video and you're rushing so basically here uh, make sure you don't make the same mistake as I did. Uh, actually, it's good that I made it so I can show you what to look for. So we have to remove the screen again. Why? Because I did close, I did put the screen, I didn't take, you see these guys? 
they have to be on this side. I just put it like that. Beginner's mistake, yes, I know. There we go, so make sure that these ones are on this side. And we're gonna put the screen back in. Okay. And what we wanna do, okay, after we put those two screws, we're gonna close the screen again. And we wanna test the screen, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this in case you misposition this one or you drop it off your hands or something like that. You have, you see one of the corners, it has a little tab, I mean it has a little metallic piece over there, so it shows you that that particular one has to be on the upper left corner, okay? So we put this guy down, and we'll put the LCD connector, hold on, the LCD connector, you see there are two little uh, rods protruding from that you have to align it to that hold it down there put the screws one and two okay now we're ready to put the battery in so we fire up the computer and make sure that the screen is working uh, obviously the screen is brand new, but you want to do that before assembling everything, so it will save you extra headache. Okay, so let's turn on the computer. So here we go. We have the, I don't know if you see, that's too much overhead light, uh, XPS, so everything is there. Uh, it even says this boot will take uh, longer than usual, please wait, blah, blah, blah. So we're just gonna shut off the computer. Okay. It is normal for the Dell devices to do that once you change, uh, once you disconnect the battery. So we're gonna disconnect the battery one more time. Okay. Uh, no need to discharge the static electricity because that uh, connector will stay there. I'm not going to remove it because I know the screen is working. And now we're ready to put the rest of the screws into the hinges okay the shiny one goes in the corner and the smaller screw goes onto the extension of the hinge okay and we'll do the same onto to this end That's that. Now we're gonna put the screws holding the the cable. So we have to. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. So yeah, that one would be bent, and this fella goes right on top. Okay, that will prevent the cable from actually flexing too much or rubbing uh, when, you, uh, when you open the screen, when you open and close the screen. Okay, that's that and we're gonna put this back right there. Okay, now we can put the back, I mean actually connect, make sure you connect the battery, okay, and 
as you just push it like that and now everything all the screws are in place the connector is in place and we can just put this guy back on okay just slightly push it down gonna take our t5 and we're gonna put the screws in here and you are done so basically this uh, this is a very easy easy and fast repair um, you can definitely do it on your own uh, again uh, you might find the screen in different uh, different places make sure you get the right resolution for your screen uh, if you don't know what resolution your original one had because this particular come uh, this particular computer comes with um, a touch screen and an untouch screen this particular one had a non touch screen so you'll have to match the resolution uh, and the color color if you mismatch it uh, not a big deal I mean if you're willing to put up with it having a two-tone uh, computer but definitely match the resolution and uh, touch or non touch so we have the back on okay we can remove this uh, this real film okay and let's turn it on once it's fully assembled there we go xps so it says the boot will take longer blah 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 so yeah that's uh that's pretty much what you have to do for uh the dell xps 13 uh the newer version uh screen replacement in the older ones was a little bit I would say maybe it was a little bit more difficult. Uh, the cables were not as easily as like this. I can call them modular type of connections. Um, so yeah, uh, if this video helped you in any way, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment uh, where I'm trying. I'm trying to update uh, my uh, library as often as I as time allows. Uh, do uh, as many repairs as possible uh, on camera. So till next time, take care of yourselves and be good.